a potential buzzkill for the high-flying but still budding Canadian cannabis industry. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection official telling me that under long-standing U.S. federal laws, any Canadian who works or invests in the cannabis industry or has even used marijuana in the past could be turned away at the border and may even risk a lifetime ban on travel to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection says this would even apply to Canadian marijuana companies that are on the U.S. stock exchanges and not even involved in any cannabis business in the U.S. Border Protection officials say that each inspection, though, is different and officers do have discretion. Todd Owen with U.S. Customs and Border Protection says our officers are not going to be asking everyone whether they have used marijuana, but if other questions lead there or if there's a smell coming from the car, they might ask. Officials decline to speculate how often the issue occurs, but one Canadian employee of a legal marijuana company says they've traveled back and forth across the border without any issue, even after disclosing during questioning that they work in the marijuana industry. It's so indeed interesting to see how all this plays out. What happens if you're just crossing the border from Colorado or California? It's legal in some states here. That's what they say. Like, uh, for instance, if you're crossing from Canada to Washington State where it's legal, yeah. they say that, no, you, it's, it's still, uh, it's, you're there, they, you could face being uh, sent back to Canada. Should we read this? I mean, if this is coming from the border control, should we read this as mm -hmm. the administration taking a harder line and potentially more problems coming for states that have legalized it here in the United States? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I think right now uh, CBP officials say that this, is, this has been the longstanding law for a really long time, and there's just trying to highlight it given the, the impending Canadian legalization coming up on October 17th. Mm -hmm. um, they plan on doing some social media around it just to increase awareness of this law that is has been in effect for a long time and you know still remains on on our side of the border